guys, how you doing? FM Dal here and welcome to Chasing the Champions League or as it should probably be called by now trying not to get sacked in a terrible, terrible state with Werther Bremen but I don't want the negativity It's very difficult not to be negative right now, Dale I understand that, I get that, I fully do but what I actually think we should be looking at are the positives Which are? Yeah, well, no one knows them yet but by the end of this episode, they will, because Union Berlin today, and then Kaiser Slautern. That is a game, 17th versus 16th. Let's look at the league table for you all guys uh, to see what I mean by the positivity here. We're playing the team above us and the team below us. We've got to get five points from these two games. So that's two wins. If we get these two wins, bam, we are in a job, boys. If we lose them, we're sacked. Let's get to it, right? So here we go, Union Berlin coming to play us here at the Stadion against us, obviously, Vita Bremen. And we are starting like this, Karius in gold and Bomb on the right, Pieper, Friedel in the middle, Jung on the left. Then El Nenny and Grueb. Come on, Grueb, this is an, a chance for you. Talking about people with a chance, we've got Garnaucho in the team. Let's see if we can do what he's been doing at Man United in the last week against... Leeds, if he could do that today, that would be absolutely fantastic. Ibrahimovic is playing attack in midfield. That's right, guys. I'm mixing it all up. Kalidio on the left. Fernino up front. The kid is going to do it for us. We know that. And Union Berlin have a lot of players who are scared today. That's right. That is right. That is. We can hope. Tell you what, I really, really want us to win. I really want us to win. Uh, it's the only way I'm going to stay in a job here. Uh, if we lose today, I think it's, it's basically over anyway. So we won't even get the next game against Kaiserslautern. That's a mess. Got a haircut coming. I think it's common, common knowledge that when I do these, I've, I've got a haircut coming. Uh, yeah, so if we win today, look, we can jump up outside the relegation zone. So that is what we need to look at. That's where we need to keep the positives. And the, the game against Kaiserslautern, they've got three points all season. So we should beat them. Kick off! We've got an outshow in Calidio. I think we've got two really good wingers in the team. Do you know what I mean? I think we've got two players there who are strong enough to take us forwards. They take a free kick from nowhere, but no, no importance to that. I, that's decent. Ibrahimovic brings that experience. Maybe doesn't bring any energy or anything, but he's got that. But Nino, he's good enough. I think he's good enough. If you judge uh, it on the stars, anyway, he's definitely good enough. As we have our first attack here. As Gruev goes out to Calidio, plays it inside to Ibrahimovic. Out to McElhenney. McElhenney? I don't know why now we've got the Wrexham chairman. I don't know why he's in the team. Half an hour in and it's not had a shot on target. Neither team have. It's not been the most exciting game of football. Definitely a relegation battle you can feel um, within the, the game. That there's nerves from both teams. Probably we need to do a little bit better. We are at home. So I'm going to tell them to do that. Kick off for the second half. And I tell you what, the only one... Who uh, came out of that half-time talk doing any well was Ibrahimovic, uh, believe it or not. Uh, his reaction was professional. I think that's a good thing. As Ibrahimovic turns back into Gruev and Kalidio into Nino. Oh, no. I thought that was the opportunity, boys. I thought that was the one to break the duck. But instead, they come forward. As Schaefer goes long, heads it into the arms of Karius. No issues there. We need to build and go forwards here from Karius. Hopefully, we can have the main part of this attack. We've come from the half-time whistle. And uh, and we've, we've started well in this second half. So, let's see what we can bring. as Kalidio into Gruev. He's on a booking. So, he may be coming off pretty soon. But, Gnaucho. We know this boy. He's got pace. He's got power. He's minus the power. But, he's got pace that he can do a lot with this season. Kalidio play inside to Nino. He's there. Is he onside? That is the question. You could tell by my slightly subdued reaction that I'm not sure Kalidio was onside. It is onside! Come on, this job is ours. This job is ours. That is finished. I've got a really bad shoulder and I shouldn't have done that. Kalidio has put a beautiful headed pass in and Fanino's not missing that. That's 1-0 to Virgil Bremen. The jobs are good and boys. To be fair to the boys, we have played well today. We haven't looked too much like conceding. That's, that's number one. What we normally look like doing. We normally look like conceding. We haven't today, but pff, there's time, isn't there? Gruev in the middle. Misplaces a pass. He's, he's done all right as well, Gruev. So that's a bit... It's more disappointing because, you know, he's on a booking. I'm going to be bringing him off incredibly shortly as Llewellyn takes it down the left-hand side. Puts it in quite firmly to the back post. Jekyll over. Woo! Yeah, I'm taking... Um, I'll tell you now. Unal's come on. 
Fernino, Ibrahimovic is off, Agadou is on, and last one is Gruev, and we've we've brought on Sissoko for him. He was on a booking, so we may need to look at a couple of those guys on the bookings uh, to bring them off. But Kalidio tries to play in Agadou, Agadou, back Agadou, back to Kalidio. He's got space, got time. He's been a difference maker today, and he's got us a corner. Kalidio, when he's on fire, we saw it in the second half of last season. When he's on fire, he's a very, very good player. He looks a bit on fire today, which is what we're looking for as Jung goes in. And it's going to be cleared away there. 77 minutes gone. They're back. Corner. Crossed in. Karius. He has been massive today. He has been absolutely monumental in this game against Union Berlin. As he tries to go long, I think it might be a great ball. Oh, it should have been a great ball. Didn't quite make it. It's like I do. Back down Nenny and Garnacho. He's not had a great game, but uh, he's got another opportunity to make it up. Embom down the right. Agadou, El Nenny, Garnacho. He scores on debut. A debut goal for Garnacho. Come on, son. That's what we're talking about. We can relax. It's a 2 0 win. I mean, we don't know if it's a win yet, but it's definitely 2 0. Beautiful ball through to the 59 and a decent finish. Beautiful finish. A little chip chipperoony. <laughs> Love to see it. They're back very quickly. Too quickly, I would say, as it goes over the top. But it's not going to be good enough as Piper gives it back to Karius. Who goes long to the other side, to Calidio. It doesn't make it to Calidio or Unal. But it does make it to Garnaccio. Oh, I thought he was through, boys. Thought he had a moment to maybe get his second on debut. He's not going to have that moment today. Well, he could do later, but not right now. As Endo in forward. Llewellyn saved. Karius has got to be man of the match for me. He has just done an outrageous job. Oh, my days. That's what we're talking about. Take that. 100%. 2-0 victory. Gnacho 7-4. El Nenny a 7-8. The two centre-backs and the goalkeeper smashing it out the park. Boys. Boys. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Clidio surely manned the match there. Incredible performance. And we go into the next game against Kaiserslautern with a very good opportunity to keep the job. I mean... Pressure's still on, though. If we lose to Kai Slatt and we're out of a job, but if we beat them, who have only got three points all season, dream's still going. That has let us leapfrog uh, Stuttgart and Berlin. We're now outside. <laughs> oh, and Berlin. Uh, no, Stuttgart and Berlin. And we've jumped out of the relegation zone. Yes, Stuttgart do have a game in hand, but that's not important to us. The, t the league is still super, super tight. A win against Kai Slatt and we jump again. It's too tight. It's too tight, but we'll get a win. We'll get a win. We'll save our job and everything will be beautiful, right? We keep our job. But Union Berlin sacked their manager. Sione has left his job there. We are two to one to be sacked, boys. So it's still not looking great for us. But we, we could maybe take the Union Berlin job if we're sacked. Who knows? We are back. We're ready for Kaiserslautern. And now we know we need to win this game to keep our job. So let's do it, shall we? We're not going to change too much from the team that just played. But we are going to make a couple of differences. Karius will still be in goal and Bob on the right. But Masha is coming in centre-back. Friedel and Jung as well in there. We've got Garnacho still on the right. Kalidio on the left. Kruev and El Elneny keep their spots in the centre. So does Zlatan. He's staying just behind for Nino up front. The big change there is Masha. I wasn't sure... Whether or not Gruev would keep his position in the team, I've decided to give him that go and let's take him on. What have they got? Nothing. Because they are not Verda, right? Come on. Nerves are aplenty. This is how they look. Klaus Redondo, Clement Skark, Tommy Axe, Schneider, loads of players who aren't as good as these boys. Our boys out there, Nino Ibrahimovic is the one. Hopefully today he does well. There is absolutely nobody in the crowd. There is not a jot. In the ground. Look at that. I know they're not a huge team, Kaiser Slaughter, but they're better than that, surely, as we walk out here today in our beautiful green kit to take the victory and keep me in a job. Kick off! This is all about keeping me in a job, basically. These, this team, bottom of the league, minus 45, I think, goals. Three points all season. I don't think they're even a win. I think that's three draws all season. They're not a good team. So let's hopefully... Prove to them today why we should be in this league. Scalidio puts Fernino through. It doesn't. And go well. And takes it. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> what a finish from Fernino. Who, if he can get this 
kind of thing going. The goals game by game by game. He could keep us up on his own. Kalidio plays him through here. Terrible defending from Gubulawulawulawu. But a beautiful finish from Fernino up into the top corner. That goalkeeper's already got a knock as well, which is quite nice. It's quite nice. I mean, I don't want to revel in somebody else's injury, but it's nice that their goalkeeper's probably not at full fitness as we go into this game as Zimmer takes it forward for them. And Kaiser's like, give him way too much space. And he puts it wide, high, wide, over. Not an issue for us at all. Back us. 30 minutes gone. Friedel long throw to Young. Doesn't make it. Pim bomb covers up the mass. Says Friedel plays it back to Kruev. And Young down this left-hand side. Knocks it back to Kruev. He's got time for this cross. He doesn't, doesn't take it, which I'm not too happy about, if I'm honest. Should have been throwing that one in the box. As El Nene off the post. Overall, not a great performance from us so far, it has to be said. And in fact, to the point where they're putting a cross in, it's not going to get in as Jung gives it back to Carriers. He plays an outside of the boot. Massive strike forward. Cannot argue with that. That's absolutely ridiculous play. But El Nenny, this is your moment. Terrible pass. Terrible pass. He plays it as Clidio. Terrible pass. Terrible pass. I'm not a repeat. The players seem to be, as Clidio doesn't do well enough there. He's gone back to the injured goalkeeper who plays it long. Win that header, Friedel. He does. Gruev doesn't win the next one, though, as Kloss does. Kloss is coming forward. Worryingly, the highlight's gone on really long. And if they have the shot, we know how problematic that could be, as Philip Clement has just scored a worldie. An absolute worldie. Where has that come from? Yes, we made too many mistakes in the build-up, but what? Where has he got the backlift, the power, where any of that outrageous fit? Goal of the year. Goal of the life. Fuming. Fuming that we won it. It's 1-1. One, one. We need to do better in this second half. Screamed to the boys. Told them that it was not acceptable to be going in. Half time. 1-1 one, one with this absolute shocking team. Of course I'm going to say that because my job is on the line here. It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. Ibrahimovic though. Gone out, Joe. Oh, it, it, that's it. That is it. It's been some very weak passing. We're winning the ball back. We're doing well, but we're... it's the final third. It's the final pass. It's just not been there today. Like that one is. And Fanin. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Fanin. Corner. Us. Let's get it. Young. Into the box. Let's get it in. Head for Ibrahimovic. It doesn't. It's El Nenny. It's off the bar. Right. So we slightly moved Ibrahimovic forward to play in a deep lying striker role situation just to try and do something. We're making all sorts of subs, but nothing, nothing's happening, boys. No, don't give the ball away. <laughs> I'd rather nothing happen than give the ball away as Tremoni. I really hope that's not our Tremoni. Who's crossing it in. Zalaski's not worked in bit and core. Who's come on, by the way, for Kalidio. He's trying to run it away, and he's done so. That's got to be a red card, boys. It's got to be a red card. Oh, come on. What's the ref doing? It is a red card for Ben Zelinski. Can we get something out of the next few minutes of this game? If I've lost my job to Kaiser Slatton because we drew, I'm absolutely fuming. What is this world? I could have lost my job. I think I've lost my job. I think, I think I've lost my job. Based on absolutely disappointing, dismal performances from Garnaccio, Kalidio, Ibrahimovic, Elneny. These are all players who should be better than this. They should be better than this. I mean, we've jumped up in the league. I mean, we've played one game more, but we've jumped to another place. But, oh, no. We need one point from our last game. I thought that was the last game. We need one point from our next game. You know what, guys? Why not? Let's go and see it. Let's have a three-game special. Why not? Here we go, everyone. And it has been a tense week. There's been loads of things going on behind the scenes. A load of press telling me you're going to lose your job if you don't win and I know that well it's, it's, it's a draw really if I don't draw so do we just get offensive not my way you know it's not my way you can look at the league over here we're at the moment we're in the playoff position but we're on equal points with Union Berlin uh, there's Hertha Berlin one point ahead of us and a good win today boys we're jumping we're absolutely jumping so we'll see what can happen it's all on this to save my job let's get it done let's just get it done and not panic about that right so anyone who knows me knows that I uh, do some work at Shrewsbury Town, which isn't too far away from me. And I've taken inspiration from that for this game against Hoffenheim. We're playing a different formation. Carry a single. Start Pieper and Marsha. They are the three centre-backs. That's right. We're going three centre-backs. We've got two wing-backs. 
It's kind of the 3-4-1-2 is what we're going with. Weiser and Friedel are the winger backs. We've got El Nenny in the middle um, with, uh, with Mbom. With Mbom and, uh, and Nino up front with Unal with Farias who is back from injury. He's been injured way too much this season, let's be perfectly honest. But he is back today to take on Hoffenheim. Paulson, Klammeridge, Geiger, Rogerio. Guys, they have some absolute ballers, including one of our own in Felix Agu. But if we don't believe, we've got no chance. So let's believe today that we're going to come away with a victory, or at very least a point, and we'll be coming away with our job. Or we don't. Hmm. Woo! Here we go. And believe it or not, we're playing similar formations. Um, they are playing with the three at the back there as well. This is so you can see what we're doing. This is the formation today. That's how it looks. I mean, we've got to hope. We've got to do something different because what we were doing, I know what you're saying. I hear you. We won and we drew. That should be good enough. Why are we changing formation? But we're away from home. We've not had a good season at all away from home. So we had to change something. We're hoping that this is going to be the reason for a good change. And it's kick off. Friedel, free kick, outside, shoots. Oh my gosh, what a start that would have been. What a start that would have been to the game. Unfortunately, didn't make its way in. Good save as well. And Farias is over there taking... Guys, I've been recording so long that I used all of my disc space. Fortunately, I was quick enough to press pause. And we are back. No issues. I mean, if there's anything that can heighten the drama, it was me losing my face um, on, the, on the record. But anyway, we're back into the game. And... Um, yeah, I, th I thought for a moment that I literally was, was going to have to play this game off and it was going to be an incredible cliffhanger. Hopefully a cliffhanger won't be the case. Hopefully you will see now what is going on and hopefully we'll come away with a victory today. That's what we're all hoping for. It's not looking overly promising for us. We've had one shot. It was on target but never looked like going in. That free kick I think is the one that they're giving that for. But they've, they've not done much either. It's a very, very relaxing game i would say when we're just looking for a draw i mean is that is that the uh worst thing to say when they're coming forward probably is clamorage knocks it back in rogerio paulson oh my i thought it was in thought it was in it's not half time no no still in a job kick off for the second half and as i say we are still in a job i've told the boys keep going keep going Keep bringing what they're bringing. We're doing fine. We're not too worried about the the fact that we don't look like scoring. We're not we're not too too panicked about that. We're just more panicked by not conceding. Carius, come on now, boys. This is a moment. Goes long. Unal's not going to get there. Akpugumumba got it away to Bauman, and they're going to come forward, which is a bit more stressful for us. As Cuenca plays it inside. Ruggiero, to be honest, has looked very, very good. Kramerich on the left-hand side. Flicks it in. Samuska and doesn't get it. Paulson should, doesn't. And then he clears Farias out. Fanino, can we get them on the counter? It's into Unal. He stops it and don't worry too much. Substitutions have been made, by the way. Ibrahimovic on. Agadou on. Hyung on. We look like getting this point, boys. We look like getting the point. No, not like this. Not like this. Stiller puts it in. It's cleared. Agadou clears again. Agu out to Stiller. Come on, boys. Defend with all of your lives. My job is on the line. Samescu. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's an absolute wonder goal. What in the world are you meant to do when they do that? Oh, jeez. Crushing. Absolutely crushing. 87th minute goal has ruined it. Boys, we're on the job hunt. We're on the job hunt. I just can't. The Kaiserslautern game. The Kaiserslautern game is the one, but... I just didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. Um, what brutal way to end. Um, decision to terminate your contract. You weren't able to do what you said you could do. I've been sacked. What do we do here, boys? Get down in the comments. Do we, do we start a new save? Or do we continue to chase the Champions League? This has been the worst save I've ever had. I've never been sacked on a, on a, on a to be honest, I don't think I've been sacked since I was a kid playing this game. 
This has just gone so badly wrong. Um, to all the Verde fans, I'm sorry. Uh, in my press conference here, I'm sorry that it's come to this. I didn't. I didn't think it was 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 fair. Really, when you look at the last five games, we won two, lost two, drew one. I mean, yes, it's not great the way that it finished there in that last game, but we, we're still we're not in the relegation. Wow, well, we kind of are, but we're not. I mean, when we look at the jobs that are around us, we'll look at the job centre now uh, and the security of the jobs. What actual jobs could we get? Uh, and if they're worth even going for. We could go to Fleetwood in the Championship. I mean, that's an opportunity, Fleetwood in the Championship. I think we could maybe do something there. It's a bit of a drop, would you say? Um, got some good players on loan. Tom Bloxham. Is that Tom Bloxham from Shrewsbury? <laughs> Tom Bloxham from Shrewsbury. Well, um... We could, we could maybe, maybe attempt that, or, or do we start all over again? Do we, do we start FM23 again? Do we start down in the conference, build a team for the Premier League, take us all the way, or do we continue? Oh. Guys, anyway, let me know what you think we should do down there in the comments, and um, this has been brutal. This has been really hard. I don't know why that's happened, and uh, I will talk about it another time. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Oh, bring me some positives. Bring, share, like, subscribe, do all the beautiful stuff. Oh.